Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do simple rollover web navigation bars in Photoshop. I have Photoshop open. I'm in version 5.1. I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to set it up to 200 by 35 pixels. I like a resolution of 96 because that mirrors most screen resolutions today. And I want my background colors to be transparent. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to change to my black arrow tool and I want to have a little bit more room to work here and I also would like to zoom in so I can see it a little bit better. Alright, I'm going to begin by creating a rectangle with rounded corners. So I'm going to choose my rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to have a green color here. I like to change colors up on the up and the down. And then on this layer, which is shape one, I'm just going to call this background. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to name one background up. And I'm going to have background down. Now I could do a lot of things here. I could make them different colors. Um, I'm going to apply some basic effects to them. In the down version, I'm going to put in let's see an inner shadow, and I really want to bevel and emboss. I'm going to contour. I'm going to select the contour component. And I have my angle here. I want to check what that is. I have my gloss contour, shadow mode, opacity. All right. And I want my direction to be down because I'm in the down view. Inner bevel, smooth, down. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, let's also, in the effects, let's do a slight color overlay and make the down a little darker. Okay, you really can't see the effects until I change this. Let's actually delete the up version. Because so I want to just change my effects on the down one. And I'm going to copy down. I can call this one background. Okay, so I'm going to turn off background down. Now this is at the top, so I'll be able to see it. And I'm just going to flip a few changes here. So I'm going to go double click on my effects. And I'm going to go into my inner shadow. I'm going to change my angle to be exactly opposite. Okay, and I'm going to Uncheck the color overlay. And for my bevel and emboss, I want to change it from down to up. Okay, so I have my up state and my down state. Up, down. So you can see there's a relatively significant change between up and down. I'm going to go ahead and leave them both visible right now. And I'm going to put some simple text in here. So I'm going to hit the text. And for text for the web, I really like my font to be something that is web appropriate. Um, go with a real standard Udana font. 
And let's see what I want my point size to be. 72. text box to be quite that big. Let's try this again. It's not taking it. Text. Oh, got to change it from green. I want to flip it here. Okay. Now I should be able to type. Let's try this one more time. Oh, way too big. Okay. 24. Too big. 14. Just right. But, um, still in green. I want a slightly golden white button. Ah, I'm beneath it. I'm beneath the layers. So we'll just do button one. I'll drag it up to the top. There we go. Okay. I'm sort of happy with that. I'll move it over here. I copied it exactly. Now we're going to make that button two. I can delete the other layer that's in between there. So I've got button one and button two. And I'm not really going to put any effects on these. I am going to copy them though. Button one, copy. Button two, copy, and on button one, button two, copy. And these are just going to be the down versions. Um, I'm just going to do a simple color overlay, and I want to make these just a little bit more orangey. Oops. Too happy now to be able to see what I've done. Got to hide the other stuff. And then I can copy the layer style to button one. Base layer style. And so they're exactly the same. Okay, so now I have an up version. and a down version. So my buttons are created and in the next video I'll show you how to slice them and export them for the web.